Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Believing that creative expression transforms our lives, the Bascom, a center for the visual arts, offers a rich experience in the arts through exhibitions, workshops, and events. Let's journey way out west to Highlands to learn more about this fascinating home of the arts. The Three Ceramic Artists Symposium at the Bascom Art Center in Highlands brings in top professionals from around the country to share their work and experience in a studio setting. The audience can ask questions, uh, the artists will respond to those and then, maybe, and then maybe relay another question to one of the other artists and so that'll start a whole conversation. Um, so it becomes more than just a demonstration, it becomes uh, somewhat of a living, breathing um, uh, experience with conversation and, uh, and a deeper understanding of why the artists are doing what they're doing. So they get to see us actually struggle and talk about our life and stuff like that. So I think it's good for people to see us work in a real life setting. The sessions run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a break for lunch at noon, which is a good time to view the featured artist's works on display in the gallery. Well, I'm a sculptor and I work with a lot of recognizable imagery. I work with trees and uh, different images, motorcycle tanks, human legs, all kinds of different components. And then what I do with those components is I build with them. I kind of think of it as like I build with building blocks, but building blocks of objects and images. And what I hope is that those images communicate to the viewer. And my goal with that is for the communication to be kind of poetic. So I make them a little bit ambiguous purposefully. And uh, that seems to give the pieces a hopefully a lasting power where they still continue to communicate. I'm trying to get across more of an abstract, uh, ambiguous kind of aesthetic, something that you kind of question if a, a human made it. Could have dug it 2,000 feet below the ocean or up off the crust of Mars. It's traditionally inspired, but every year it seems to move farther and farther away from that. So the work that I make is sort of leaning towards a more modern aesthetic, a uh, more simple aesthetic, but, um, but very much inspired by the, the rich history of clay in the southeast and in particular North Carolina. The free symposium is open to anyone, not only interested in clay, but in the process of creating art. I think to see the process and to hear them talk about their work and what their motives are, what they're trying to accomplish, I think adds to the richness of the experience. It's fun. It, it forces you to uh, verbalize you know, what you're doing, why you're doing it. I think it's a good practice to, to be able to, um, to have a real reason behind why you're doing what you're doing. And, and so certainly answering questions for people forces that, that dialogue to happen. I'm a weekend warrior ceramic artist. It's really a joy for me just to sit and absorb and uh, listen to them and watch. The intimidation level is zero, and you can really enjoy seeing how things not only are made, but the descriptions of how they're made so that you can apply them to your own work. Or if you're a newbie, you know, you can grow uh, through these workshops. Uh, so somebody that's not been in clay too long uh, it's, very, it's extremely valuable for their growth. I hope that maybe it changes the way they think about making work, maybe it changes the way they think about how their work communicates to the viewer, but really I also hope they take away just some simple techniques and some different ways to make their work and you know that's kind of one of the great things about this is that people can kind of come in and they can just absorb all this information from all the different artists, how they handle their material and then they can just take that and use it in their own work. I think it's wonderful to hear the interaction of how they do things and to hear them, their conversation going on between them plus their own you know, aspects on things. It's really wonderful. Because you not only learn new things, you learn how you can expand on what you know. And you think, oh, I've done this too, but I can take it a step further now. I mean, it's a real education to come to these things. And we're lucky to have the Bascom to be presenting this. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. You can find the Bascom Center for the Visual Arts at 323 Franklin Road in Highlands. And their schedule is packed with classes, exhibitions, and events. For more information, call 828-526-4949 or go online to thebascom.org.